Hello everybody. In this video I will create a general role in SAP. You can assign this role to every user. This role should contain some basic activities, should be across modules, and should not include critical authorizations. In my example I use the common transactions SU50 and SU53. With the transaction SU50, you can see your own data and you can change your password. With the transaction SU53, you can check your authorizations. Sometimes you don't have the permissions to execute a transaction or to perform certain actions in a transaction. This information is very important for further analysis. Okay, now we create the role. For this, I open the transaction PFCG. This is the role maintenance. We create a name, general role, and click on the button create single role. Now we put in the description general role. We click on the tab menu. Okay, save first. Here we uh, create a menu entry for the user. We create a new folder. For this, we click on the button. General. Okay. And we add here our two transactions. First, SU50. And second, SU53. Then we assign the transactions. And now we have the entries. Next, we pick the top authorizations. We click on the button change authorization data. OK, save first. We skip this window. And here we see the objects and the entries. Our Transaction codes SU50 and SU53. We generate the role. Here we generate a new profile. We go back. And when in the tab user, we can assign a user to the role. But first, I will uh, log in with a normal user in the system. Okay, this is the user USR01. This user has no roles. And we try to open the transaction SU50. Okay, we have not enough uh, uh, authorizations. The same with the transaction SU53. No permission. Now we add this user to the role. We go to save and we click on the button user comparison. And now the, the role is assigned to the user. Now we try it again. We use the transaction SU50. Okay, now we have the permission. We see our data. We can change our password. And we try the transaction SU53 again. Also, OK. And here we see our authorization log. And our, our tries before. OK. I have uh, more options to add a role to a user. This was the first one. The second one is this. For this, I delete this row. Save and user comparison. And I open the user maintenance, the transaction SU01. Edit. And I pick the top roles. And if I know the, uh, the name of, 
of my role, of my general role, I can search for it. My general. And with one click, I can assign this role to the user. Now save. And we try it again. We reload the window and try it again. SU50. Yes. We have the permission. So, um, and now I will show you where the menu is, uh, where the user can see his menu. Menu. For this, I uh, open the transaction PFCG again, and this was the menu. And the user sees it here. We uh, reload the window, and in the user menu of the user, there is our folder and the new transactions. And with double click, I can use the transaction as well. Okay, that was it already with the creation uh, of the role and the assignment. I would be happy if you subscribe my channel or watch some of my other videos. Thank you and see you soon.